podcast is part of the Big Heads Media Podcast Network. Go to BigHeadsMedia.com for more great podcasts. Welcome to Dig on America, where we speak truth to power. Every week, we give you the dig on how American history, policies, and media created the social and political issues we face today. DOA is independent media supported by listeners, but they'll tell you we're just fake news, deep state propaganda, funded by George Soros, the Clinton Foundation, BLM Marxists, and... Cruella de Vil. Damn. Aflac. Oh, not Gilbert. Um, yep. Gilbert Gottfried. Rest in peace, Gilbert. Rest in peace to the homie. But also brought to you by Haas's notifications. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not me. That was me. Oh, Mikey's um, Facebook notifications. He always wants to try to roast me on some shit. Well, he, I heard it and then <laughs> you reached. I heard it and then you reached. I saw <laughs> you reached across. Oh, the you aisle. see a black man reaching for something. Right. You just right. the worst. He's got a gun. Right. Good thing I have Shut my up. backup on safety wallet for just such an occasion. <laughs> and they shot at him six or seven times and missed, and then they made him a sheriff deputy. Who's your sponsor, Mikey? I forgot who it was because you said Gilbert Gottfried, and I got totally sidetracked. I was like, did we talk about that? Fuck, what was I about to say? I'll yell it in the middle of something later. Yeah, let us know because we need to know who to, you know, mm. whose people to talk to about the check. It was good, too. It was good. I believe you. Welcome to Dig on America, everybody. This is Jason Dutch. I'm here with Michelangelo Famine. Hi. What up? And Big Haas. Yeah. Happy 420, fools. Yeah, but, uh, yes, happy 420. Uh, what are oh. you doing for 420 today, Mikey? Let me guess. Which Dutch am I supposed to talk to? The, uh, the middle one there or the one on the left or the right? <laughs> I mean, I've been enjoying my festivities. It's been pretty cool. Very nice. Well, to those of you who enjoy the leaf, and and we're, not talking, we're not talking about Haas's leaf. We're talking about the wacky tobacco. To oh, episode. Patrick Stewart. Yes. There you go. Oh, Patrick Stewart. Yes. I, I'm good with that. Supposed to be in an upcoming film. Uh, that I was going to say, but Mikey would have got mad because he doesn't watch commercials, apparently. So I don't. I don't. He's the only guy in America that doesn't know that Patrick Stewart's going to be in that movie. It's such an amazing way to go through life, being actually surprised when you see a movie again. It's nice. So I saw the Batman. So have you seen the new Spider-Man movie yet? Yes. So did you know that that they were in it? Kind of. I knew something was happening. I didn't know that they would... I didn't, well, spoiler alert, I didn't know it would be all three at once. I just thought it would be like a time shifty movie, timey thing. I thought it was going to be something like that, but I didn't, I had no idea that they'd be together. Okay. So you had a good reaction then. Yeah, it was cool because I had, I didn't know it was going to happen. That's why you don't watch trailers because it's fun. Even at, how old am I? 34. I can still be surprised by things in movies after seeing a hundred. Yeah. But the the thing with that one though, is I didn't believe it. So I was still surprised. I thought it was all just bullshit rumors, but anyway, um, so got a lot to talk about today. Um, but something I think that we should address as folks who have yelled over and over again, um, that the black lives matter movement is, uh, you know, worthwhile. Um, and, and before we get I into think, it, I think to clarify, I think we've the, said that we had issues with the organization. Yeah, you're go ahead. I was going to say the same thing. You say it. We, 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 we're on record. And I think that sometimes people seek to try to discredit us by mis misquoting us, but we, we, we've both been on, well, we've all been on record as saying that we have some issues with black lives matter, the organization. Excuse me. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But we've said that well, we when when it comes to the statement mm-hmm. and the movement, the sentiment definitely supportive of that, but we have issues with the Black Lives Matter, the organization, especially the international organization. The dot com. Yeah. Yes. The, the political action folks. The yes. LLC. Yeah. Are they LLC? They're probably an escort. Yeah, maybe. I didn't look into that. But so you want to nutshell this or should I nutshell it? And then we'll nutshell. Kinda... I don't right, like so... nutshelling. So yeah, nut... nuts... you little nutshell. <laughs> All 
All right, so nutshell. And this was point I, I first saw this on HuffPost. Um, and then Haas recommended a uh, video on TYT, and I watched that. Anna Kasparian went through it. Um, there's, if this stuff is true, it's trouble. It's troubling. Uh, there is folks on the streets who are doing good work and expecting support that are not getting it. That's really my number one beef. Um, I think that it's it's you know it's fair to scrutinize any organization that gets. Donations. I say this about churches all the time. Um, you know, I and, and to be frank with you, and I posted this on Facebook. I hold BLM to a higher standard than I do churches because I, uh, I know churches are going to fuck us, right? Like I expect churches to screw with the money. I, I don't expect them to do that. Um, they bought a house in California that was a few million dollars that has multiple rooms that they haven't really disclosed what it's for. If it's for something good, they should say, um, and just. Tell us. Um, but my main thing is, is that the, the funds are not being funneled down to the people in the streets, one of whom is Michael Brown Sr., um, who is trying to get things done in the communities. So um, if these allegations are true, and they certainly appear to not look good, um, the organization is in trouble. And Patrice Cullors, if what they say is about her is true, which it looks like it might be, um, she's, I have a big problem with her because she's smart and she knows full well that everything negative she does is going to be conflated with the same, even though she's kind of disassociated herself a little bit from the organization. Yeah. She stepped down recently, but, yeah. but she did but the still, stuff when she was there. Once your name is, is, is connected, your name is connected. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter you know, that you disassociate yourself or distance yourself. You know why? Because then that is part of the, the, uh, that is used as part of the attack. You know, they had to distance themselves because of the shit they were doing, you know. So, you know, it's, it becomes a catch-22. Mikey, your thoughts? So y'all weren't very descriptive in like what happened, happened, happened. So I'm trying to figure out what happened, happened, happened. Um, there, there's an article there's money, in the face. There's yeah, money let, going around. So, so they and, took the money, essentially. Yeah, there, it's 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 unclear what the what, what, what where it? the money came from to buy the home. Did it come from the donations? Did it come from the private the okay. book sales, which would be a well, different thing? We're not lawyers. This is a damn podcast. Why are we not bullshitting and guessing? I'm, you know that's t-shirt money all right so allegedly allegedly the shit out of this let's the get the came from uh, what the are we donations doing? <laughs> donations. I donations i thought it was a trash i'm talking <laughs> i'm talking about how much was they selling them t-shirts for 50 dollars or something 50 like fucking bucks hell yeah they cuffing money they skimming that's why i ain't fucking put my fucking 20 dollars in the they hat i was like, like tommy smalls and uh Call them nights. I was like, ain't, I, no, ain't no way, in, ain't no way on earth. I'm giving you. You need an additional thirty five dollars for that T-shirt. Smalls. No, no you got Smalls. me. You got me. Yeah, who do you, up. Who, do you, who do you think you are, Sam Harris? Hey, I mean, look, Tim. they clearly scam it. Hey. Like, I don't know how people don't hey. see that. That's a fucking scam. So, um, I'm gonna read a little bit from the uh, Huff Post article. Oh, um, oh, oh Huffy Post. Huff Post. Um, it's, it starts, it's, I'm, I'm going to breeze through this. Um, oh, black, actually, hold on. Let me make sure I have the right article here. But, but, but he's black. Oh yeah. This is the right article. Okay. So, um, they, they talk about how Ferguson tried to warn us, blah, blah, blah. So Ferguson tried to warn us that the black lives matter organization was not the sacred cow that appeared to be. Since the hashtag's founding in 2013, um, as an answer to the acquittal of George Zimmerman in the shooting death of Trayvon Martin, there have been questions surrounding money. Um, quick stop there. This is me talking. Um, of course there was, because it was black people with money. So, you know, they were, they were going to have a microscope over them immediately, which wouldn't be there for any other charity. So, um, anyway... Garza and Tometi are not affiliated with the business side of Black Lives Matter, but they do host speaking engagements on behalf of the hashtag. 
Garza heads Black Futures Lab, and um, which calls itself a Black New Media and Advocacy Hub. So let me try to explain it so that it all makes sense. This is the article talking. Colors Garza and Tometi cre created the hashtag that would later go on to encapsulate the movement. Colors was go on, would go on to head the foundation, but there are also local Black Lives Matter groups unaffiliated with the foundation. Um, there have been stories wondering where all these donations have gone, especially after George Floyd's death, that they took in $90 million. And then there was the bombshell dropped earlier this week. The foundation took some $6 million of the donation money to secretly buy a mansion, and not just any mansion, a spread in Southern California worth, which is 6,500 square feet, half a dozen bedrooms and bathrooms, several fireplace, fireplaces. Pause. Yes. To be, let's, let's be fair here, though. In a way, in a manner of speaking, yeah, six million dollars for a house in California is not, not a whole lot of money. Uh, that is relative. Well, it's like a five hundred thousand dollar house around here. Yeah, I, exactly. I, I live well. I live in California, so I mean, so that's. I would say that that is still on the way high side. Um, it depends on where in California you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. So for context. The house that I used to live in in Compton, um, it's people. It was actually in Carson, which is like two seconds from Compton, but people right, don't know right, what that right. is. You were Compton adjacent. Yeah, so it's kind. Of, it was literally, <laughs> literally the Walmart that I went to was at was in Compton, and it was like a block away. Riverside, um, motherfucker. But nobody, no, yeah, they moved to Riverside, uh, but nobody, nobody in the world knows what Carson, California, is. Carson is in between Long Beach and Compton. For those who don't That's know, that's where they used to have all them porn um, shoes. So when Compton and Long Beach together, you know you got trouble because they met in at the Walmart in Carson. Um, oh my God! Say Carson five more times. Jesus. Carson, Carson, Johnny Carson. God. So um, I get it. The house Carson. that I was, the house that I lived in, was one point one million. It was about twenty four hundred square feet. God damn! And it was. It, I've talked about that house before. It had a few bedrooms in it and like a few people live there. It's like an Airbnb uh, place. Um, there were houses, there were houses that were really kind of shacks that were really not in really good shape at all. That were maybe like two, three miles away that were going for six, $700,000. Now the wife's family, most of their houses are one to 1. 1.5 or so million, 1.7 million. They bought all these houses when they were like, you know, 130,000. Um, but they're definitely in the one to two million range. And I would say the average house, if it was in Chicago, would be like Haas's house. Okay. So like an average, an av you have an average house. You fuck. You have a basement. I love, I love my house. Yes. But your house is also not worth 1.6, 1.7 million dollars. Yeah, right. Chicago. Hell no. Cause we're right. Living. So, you know, we're talking we about got like a, a 20, a 23, 2400 square foot house in nice shape. Um, you know, with us though, your yard is way bigger than what we would have here. So I would still right. say that it's pretty like, oh, there's a sound bit. stage in this house that they bought. So it's got some 6,000 square feet. a big ass house. That's like three oh, of yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying that 6 million. It ain't Puff Daddy's pick, house. If you, if you pick that house up and put it in Illinois, it's probably four, five hundred thousand dollars No, I'd probably say it's 1.5. Mm. Anyway, 6,000 square feet. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, that's not we're that's not the point. Uh -uh. My biggest point is the money allegedly it, is coming from donations. Yes. But let us know number 1 why we have this house and number 2 um why haven't the funds gone to the streets? The organizers in the streets. Right? Another thing that, too, another thing too, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. In a way, we need to stop. And, and this is a this is a narrative that only seems to come to fruition with when it's people of color. It's like when people of color are protesting or giving voice to the inequities and injustices this country visits upon them. It is almost like an expectation that you have to live in squalor and be a struggling person in order to be credible in this and that you cannot 
have a nice house. You know, and if you do, then there has to be something nefarious. You know, on. remember Terry who's on our show? No. Like Terry Watkins, who was on the show, he was the guy from St. Louis who was like a Hillary fan. You guys never remember our guests. Um, he was, he hangs out with a lot of guys in on Twitter who are very um, sexy, ir- irritated with the fact oh. that they believe Patrice Colors is guilty herself of gentrification. Um, have, have you heard anything of that? Or is that something you could speak on? I cannot. I cannot either. I've been on since I've come back from my uh, honeymoon. I've been on cruise control. This shit is nice. This shit is nice. You know what's nice is this fucking martini I'm drinking. Man, I can. It is. I'm I'm sure it is nice. And I and and I hate to sound callous, except that you're on a political podcast. So, (laughs) but is that really a political issue? This is a social issue. Yeah. Number one is a social issue. Number two, how the fuck didn't y'all see this coming? If they're charging you fifty dollars for a fucking T-shirt, of course they're fucking hosing you. It's your dumb, simple Simon, stupid ass. Just because they got the fucking logo on there. Okay, Nino be... Brown, tell them, talk no, your just, shit. I'm just saying, go to the fucking dude around the corner and get your own shit. Why do you keep giving them money? Have you seen anything fucking happen after the first three times they fucking asked for money for shirts? No. And then you gave them ten times the money, and now you looking for y'all stupid. And I got my shirt off T Public. That's what I'm saying. Quit playing. Y'all knew they was on some bullshit. The hat, the hat that I got came from uh where did it come from? It came from a um a black owned vape shop. So who made it? I have no idea. But they probably I bought, bought that shit on Wish or fucking Amazon or wherever the fuck else. Because they went when nobody about to pay all that money to them for them fucking shirts and all that shit. They hustling. Everybody, everybody could see that they were hustling. And if y'all fell for that, then y'all fell for that. Your 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 opinion is actually harsher than mine. So like I, I wouldn't have a problem with paying fifty dollars for a t shirt. You're a fool. If actually you want a t shirt, if the forty five dollars was going to worthwhile stuff, right? What Asa, you're on, what? Asa, you're on mute. You're on mute. But that's the thing, though. What? Who decides what's worthy? They do. That. Well, Come on, man. that's a relative question. It came question. out of fucking nowhere. Y'all are dumb. Sorry. Sorry, everybody who fell for that shit. You're dumb. You had to pay the dumb, dumb tax. So let me tell you last time I had to pay the dumb, dumb tax. So um, it was tail end of winter, and there was a little bit of rain. And I was like, ah, I should put my wipers up. But I was like, it's just rain. I don't think it's going to be cold. I'll be fine. Well, it wasn't fine. The shit froze. Went to scrape my car off. Bruh. All the rubber came off, stuck to the window. Wiper is still just looking dilapidated. So I got to still do all that stuff, clean the car off, and then go drive to work. All that. Yeah, yeah. And then I had to go into fucking AutoZone and pay the dumb, dumb tax, which is the cost of one new set of wipers. And I upgrade it, and now I leave them bitches up because I paid my dumb, dumb tax. Y'all just paid your dumb, dumb tax. Don't just give people the fucking – don't just give people on the internet money. You don't know who they are. Stop doing that. But give us money. Only us. Don't give them money. (laughs) You know us. We have no reason to fucking lie to you. We're not. We'll just promise you what we're giving you. Right. Um, So the, 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 the only issue that I have with that is that a lot of the same, you people are dumb for giving to X organization, are saying you, you're dumb for giving X or uh, X socialist organization, terrorist organization, blah 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 blah, and adding those extra verbs or pronouns to the um, or nouns, I mean, to the uh, uh, to their posts, right? So, like, it's it becomes a weird catch twenty two. It, it technically, I I agree with you because I never was particularly a fan of the. The, the one young lady who I um, who was always at the forefront of it. Um, but there, but on the other end of the coin though, I have come across multiple local organizers within, you know, that are loosely affiliated with that organization who I'd be happy to donate money to. Right. You know, so it's like, I, and, and, and like, we, we can't like, I don't want to go throwing stones too much here because 
at people who who pay fifty dollars for a shirt because there's people who support this show for three years at ten bucks a month and they got a shirt. <laughs> so, you know. Like I don't want to be are we too much of a we, hypocrite here? Are but. we are we promising them that we're gonna take their money for a certain thing? Like we're not we're not selling like couture fucking t-shirts or whatever. You know, it's like the the t-shirt says this, and the and the money a portion goes towards helping this cause that you, that that you're wearing. We're talking shit. Yeah. We we are different. Like I'm not a fucking role model. Bring out Charles Barkley. Like I don't. I'm not trying to be this noble creature. That's what they're supposed to be doing. And they're charging fifty dollars for a fucking t-shirt in yeah. places that ha- and while they're marching through fucking boarded up fucking shit with their millions and millions of dollars, boarded up fucking neighborhoods. No fucking nobody has nowhere to stay. Nobody has no money. Here comes the people with the t-shirts. With their millions and millions of dollars. Here they come with the t shirts. Fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. They're just pastors. They're the same thing. Roll through, uh, well, take the money, roll out. It turns out that that is close to what might actually be happening here. And it's it's pretty fucking disappointing that that organization has really betrayed um ale- yeah, ale- Haas is saying allegedly on mute. Um, but, uh, he's sprinkling a little allegedly over it, but Haas, what are your, what, I'm uh, sprinkling the allegedly on there. Educate, educate us on what your thoughts are. Like, do you agree with me or more or Mikey more? I'm kind of in the middle. Between he ain't going to never agree with me on air. Never again. He always takes what I say and then shifts it no, so that I'm he can slide saying, yours in there and exactly complete the triangle. Where, I know exactly where Mikey's cynicism comes from. Mm-hmm. And we all know that money, when money is introduced, especially copious amounts of money Mm -hmm. introduced to any situation, there's always, it seems, this (sighs) perversion of the precious, the, the, the basis for what the money was supposed to be meant for in the first place. And people people's um people's instinctive travel their eyes get big and their stomachs get big and all of a sudden they're hungrier and you know they deserve x y and z because they've done one two three in their mind and they're more important is it, you know it's like it's like music groups you know music groups they 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 come up together and pay their dues and then they blow up and then all like epmd all of a sudden, there's questions about the money. I need I, I need more money because I do this, and I need more money because I do that. And so and so's driving this, and I'm driving this, and da 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 da. It's the same thing, and 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 that's why I think, you know, it, it's hard. I guess, and I, I guess I don't know. That's why you know, I'm scared to become. A, I would be very scared to become a politician because money just corrupts. And people yeah. people decide that um, they need this and they need that and they deserve it, and then the original motivation takes a back to back seat to what people think they deserve, and and then uh, you know the back seat becomes the trunk, the trunk becomes the trailer, the trailer becomes left back on the road, and then it's all about the money then. So I'm kind of in the middle. I, I still believe that. Somewhere in there, there is some good being done, but is it enough good? Probably not. Yeah. If if the if these allegations are true, let's just assume they're all true at this point, just for the sake of this conversation. They're literally then then these <clears throat> these three ladies and a couple of people in their circle, fucking Marxists, are are pro- <laughs> and and see that's the stupid part, right? Like and and I've defended her for that and like. Who gives a fuck? And I and actually, Damn lesbians. I'll I'll go back to that in a second, because I because I have a point there too. But this these three ladies and um you know the, the a circle of people around them of I don't know how many individuals it is six nine, um are literally profiting off of tragedy. 
they're tra- they're they're profiting they'd be profiting off of an actual social inequity which is the death of black and brown people at the hands of police and making money off of it by saying they're going to do something about it and then not doing it and then you end up who reinforcing now, what, the narrative now where does that sound familiar if only there were people that only showed up when black people were dying so that they could take money from the group of black people mourning. Yeah. This is not fucking new. Well, no, That's Jesse Jackson's like been Jesse guilty of this for years. Jackson. So you know, what? Jesse Jackson's been around for fucking decades. How are y'all yeah. still falling for this? Yeah. Well, because people want a new, a non Jesse Jackson. People, people are, people that are traumatized want change. Look, I need to spend my Jesse Jackson dollars somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, burning like, a hole in my pocket. But see, but see, Jesse Jackson is transparent, right? And that's not to say he hasn't done one or two decent things. But but for the most part, Jesse Jackson is a is a mouthpiece. He's all talk, no show. And that's the same thing, the same criticism I've had of AOC and Bernie Sanders, right? Like I I believe they're mouthpieces too. I agree with what they're saying, but like do spit out some legislation, you know, once in a while, right? And that, and that's why we have all these candidates on our show, and we ask them specifically what legislation that they're going to either at least endorse, if not start on their own. And most of the folks who've come on this show have said, "My first agenda will be X." Right. Right. So now, when they get into office and they don't do it, they'll get a text from us. Right. What, they may ignore up, it, though? but they're going to get it. So. You know, but this, but this whole argument that this controversy nullifies the movement, right? Is is that's so bullshit. like, like here's I made this example on Facebook book about George Washington, right? I don't know if if you guys saw this. George Washington was well known to be a pretty crummy on the on the field on the battlefield tactician. He wasn't particularly good at strategy. Everyone knows that that this this is written in many history books. This isn't just me saying this. He was a great like leader, but he wasn't a good tactician. He also was a slave owner. We know that. Not only was he a slave owner, he made he had his dentures made from the teeth of his own slaves. No man, that was wood. That's wood. Yeah, teeth. that was wood. He had wooden teeth. <laughs> so, this is the so, bullshit I'm talking. They just lie right to your face. So yeah. here's so here's the, the thing. Bad. Those those are some nice toothesses you have there, George. But here's the thing. Turns out George Washington, probably a fucking you know, a, a bit of a scumbag and not the greatest military general in the world. So he had problems. He also though happened to oversee the Constitutional Convention. So if you're going to say that because Black Lives Matter or Patrice Colors are Black Lives Matter organization or Patrice Colors are corrupt or bad therefore kick out the whole movement you also have to be honest and in that same breath say throw away the constitution because of george washington and take flaws. that that's what I've been off of the goddamn money too that's what i've been saying for fucking three years throw away the fucking constitution because well, of you've been fucking saying slave owners you've I've been, been saying, saying that i literally have been saying that you, sentence for but you. i'm not but you, you are not the person i'm talking to i'm talking about the the ordinate the adamant defender that the constitution is living and perfect. Yeah. Which is the biggest load of bullshit. You know, I, I mean, what is what? I mean, that's like saying the, the, not, the, the right brothers plane is the one. I said that wrong though. Not, not living. They, a living document would mean that it can change. Yeah. That, they, that, that, they say it's so, perfect as it's written, which is the right. Big, that's the dumbest shit ever. That's, I mean, I don't understand why, how you could say that. As you sit around and you got navigation, what was what was the vehicle. founding fathers' thoughts on on tech? Yeah, yeah, we don't know because there was no fucking tech. How about net neutrality? Yeah, yeah. What do they think of what do they think of Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter? Right. You know. What do they What do they think of interstate trucking? Yeah. Well, how, how about <laughs> Ukraine? How do, How do they feel about Ukraine? <clears throat> Should, well, we be, should we have a nuclear arms? Uh... They knew. Wait, no, no, no. No, hold on. They knew that Ukraine was going to exist because it didn't then. I was about, really about to say, I don't even think Alaska existed. <laughs> well, they, the Hawaii. land was technically there, right? So, but That's anyway. not how America works. Things only exist after we find them. 
Yeah. Right. It's or after Columbus world, finds them and rapes already here. It's not Columbus a, finds them and rapes them, and then it exists. It's not a real thing until there's a McDonald's, a Starbucks, and you better believe a Dunkin' Donuts. That's it's right. Thorough. I want that first God cup of coffee. Damn Hobby Lobby. <laughs> All right, Nick House, close this part out. I know we got you got to go in a bit, so we're gonna run through the next couple of the one one quick talk of topic, and then we'll do a break for the dig. Uh, House, close this topic off. What are your What are your final thoughts? Final thoughts are this: uh, you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. You know, like we've like we've talked about, the organization has. Eh, We've had issues with the organization before we even knew about a house or donations or skimming or anything like that, allegedly. You know? <clears throat> Beneath it all, though, there's still a house on fire and it needs attention. And just because one of the people that's supposed to be holding the hose ain't really holding the hose, that don't mean you, you turn the water off. Let, let, me right? ask you, let me ask you a couple quick questions as part of your close. Mm-hmm. When the uh, the guy who runs Blue Lives Matter has a scandal, should we then therefore no longer support the cops? If you we, fucking ain't right. Fuck them. No, I'm just okay. kidding. Um, when, There's when, some when... great cops out there. I support all truly good cops. Truly when... good, meaning that you turn in motherfuckers that you know are bad. When you um, – so, okay, so there's your answer to that question. When, when the pastor of your church turns out to um, ha- be having an affair – should you then um, ditch your religion? Yep. You should stone him. A high faith. Yeah. Destroy your faith. So we're, we're in agreement. Okay. Shame. That, that, that's, that, that's what I Shame. thought. Shame. So when, when, Shame. I turn, when I turn out to actually be an alien, um, do you unsubscribe from Haas and Mikey? Hell no. Fuck him. We, we took that. <laughs> we never liked him anyway. That skin looked a, little, looked a little funny to me the whole time. 